Hello everyone, this is the Traveling Tutor. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to do linear, quadratic, and cubic regression in Excel. And if you like my videos, guys, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thank you so much. And now let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go get the same data so that we're all working on the same page. Here in Google, I'm going to type in Aswat Damodorian. This is a professor at NYU. He teaches finance and he has a lot of data on numerous financial topics. So we're going to go in his website. We're going to click data, then corporate governance. And let's just download the very first slide Excel file that we see. Now that we have this Excel file open, let's be sure to save our file. Okay, I've gone ahead and saved this file. Now we're gonna look at which of these variables we're gonna regress against the other. So here we have CEO Holdings, which is the percentage of stock that is held by the CEO of a company. And then we have Institutional Holdings, and this is the percentage of stock that is held by institutions as opposed to individual stockholders. We're gonna wanna see if there's any relationship between Institutional Holdings and CEO holdings. And the way we're gonna do that is we are gonna employ linear regression in Excel. With that in mind, let's copy this row with the CEO holdings information. And let's bring it onto another sheet over here. This is another tab, copy paste. Let's do the same thing over here. Institutional holdings, copy that. Let's paste it here. Let's add a row up at the very top. So just right click and then insert row. All right, so this is going to be our Y variable. So we're gonna type that in right here, Y variable. And this is going to be our X variable. So just type in X variable. Now to run linear regression, we're going to go to this data ribbon. So this is going to have a function called data analysis, and we're going to click that. Now some of you might not have this function available in Excel. So in that case, what you're going to have to do is click here, file, options, add-ins, Excel add-ins go and click the analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA. Make sure those are check marked and then click OK. Once you have that and you have data analysis available to you, you can go down here and click regression. Now our Y variable, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be CEO holding. So we can include all of this column except the very first row. And then for the X variable, we're going to choose institutional holdings. So everything, including the labels. And now this is important. We're going to click labels at the top. And we're also going to click line fit plots. Okay, there you have it. There's our regression. And this is our equation, our standard errors our t-statistics, and our p-value. So what this is saying is basically y is equal to 0 0.118 plus our beta. So that's going to be a negative 0 0.129 times x. And if we want to see that displayed over here, what we can do is expand this out. Let's just click on these scatter plot points and delete them. Then we're going to click on one of these blue points and click add trend line. We're going to select linear. We're also going to select display equation on chart and display R squared value on chart. And 
And there you have it. For linear regression, you are finished. Now we're going to move on to doing the quadratic regression. Let's label each one of these tabs. So the first one I'm going to label L reg, short for linear regression. And this I'm going to label data. Let's flip those and then we'll go all the way to the top. All right, now we're looking at quadratic regression. In order to do that, we're going to uh, replicate this x variable, but we're going to square it. So it's going to be institutional holdings to the second power squared. And then we're just going to do equals b3 to the second power. And now we're going to drag that all the way down just by double clicking. And because we want the formatting to match, we can click the column B and click Format Painter and then click column C. Now this is going to be X squared. All right, now to run the quadratic regression, go back to data, click Data Solver, regression again. Your Y variable is going to remain the same. It's going to still remain this CEO holding column. Your X variable, however, is going to change. So let's change that over to both of these columns. So both of the X variables. And once again, we're going to click line fit plots. Click OK. There we go. There is our lovely quadratic regression. Let's rename that. QREG quadratic regression for short. Expand these out so we can see what's going on here. Once again, we have our betas. We have our standard errors. We have our t-statistics and our p-value, which tells us whether the betas are significant or not. Now notice there's two plots over here. We typically don't need this one, so we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to keep the original one, which is the same one that we had before. Now, what we want to do with this one is we want to add the trend line, not for the linear regression, but for the quadratic regression. So once again, we're going to delete those red points out of here. We're going to click any one of these scatter plot points, click add trend line, click polynomial, and to the second order because it's a quadratic function, display equation on chart, display R squared on chart. And there you have it. There is the quadratic regression. Notice that this regression equation right here is going to match what you have right here. So that's beta 0, that's beta 1 to the times x, and that's beta 2 times x squared. And you also have the r squared value here, which is also available over here. So in order to make it easier to see, we can make it bigger here. We can change the font. We can change the color. We can do all sorts of things. Format trend line label. You know, you can go here, make it a number, two decimal places, vertical alignment, shadows. Let's say we want this to be in green. And it's going to make the border green. If we want the text to be green, we can click solid line and green, and it'll change that right there. So we can play around with that, and we can also do the same thing with this particular line. We can click format trend line, and we can make it green if we want to. So that way, if we want to have multiple lines and show multiple regressions in the same plot, we can differentiate them by showing different uh, colors. Okay, last one is going to be the cubic regression. So let's go back to our data here. Once again, we're going to do something that should be familiar to us by now. We're going to call this x cubed. We're going to copy this, but we're going to raise it to the third power. And we're going to take cell B3. Once again, B3. Make sure it's not cell B4. You don't want, uh, or sorry, B. Uh, make sure it's not C4. You don't want this cell. You want this one. 
and then we drag it down click format painter there that's done let's go to data data analysis regression reselect those x columns I'm going to select all three all right labels line fit plots click OK there we have it our last regression and we're going to relabel it cubic regression QREG so there you have it folks expand this all out and with the charts over here we can get rid of all the cubed and the quadratic charts and we can just use the original chart which is right here and let's clean this up so let's eliminate that and we want a clean trend line so we are going to once again click one of these scatter plot points click add trend line this time we're going to choose polynomial and order is going to be three let's change the color so that it is red and then we're going to say display equation on chart and display r squared all right now a lot of you might be wondering how do i put all of the different types of regressions onto one chart and all the different trend lines onto one chart well that's pretty simple so you're just going to click this and click add trend line and this time you can click linear and display equation on chart and then you can put that up there move it around play around with it change the color change the font so you can differentiate it so here we have the linear regression in black and the quadratic uh, excuse me that's the cubic regression in red so you can also add the quadratic here it's up to you and i hope you enjoyed this quick lesson if you like the video and you want more if you want specific topics covered please leave the information and the questions in the comments and don't forget to hit like and subscribe thank you so much